Hello, we are standing in front of the Oriental Saloon here in Tombstone, Arizona. It's pretty dark out tonight. The Oriental Saloon is located at 5th and Allen Streets. This is 5th Street, running in front of the Crystal Palace, also known as the Golden Eagle Brewery. That's it, you're seeing right across the street. And across the street we have the Longhorn Restaurant. On December 27th, 1881, Burge Alert was leaving the Oriental Saloon where his brother Wyatt had a uh, faro table going in here. And Virgil was heading down to the uh, Cosmopolitan Hotel which was further north down Allen Street here. So as he left the Oriental he began to walk probably about as I'm walking now toward the Crystal Palace. We're just about to cross 5th Street here. And as Virgil got halfway or three quarters of the way across the street to the Crystal Palace, see the entrance there, a barrage of gunfire erupted from shotguns across the street. Coming from what is now the Longhorn Restaurant. Uh, at the time it was the Hachuca Water Company being built over there. And I believe there was a drugstore next door. And there's some argument and conjecture as to whether the shots were fired from the building right next door or right there. But they know that the assassins were shooting from that direction there to about where I'm standing here at the intersection of 5th and Allen. And some bullets actually embedded themselves in this post you're seeing here. And uh, the, the shotgun blast hit Virgil in his left arm, crippling him for the rest of his life. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a nighttime view of this because last time I did a video it was daylight and that kind of took away from the uh, feel of it considering that the assassination attempt took place at night. And I'm going to walk over here toward the Longhorn restaurant where the assassins would have been. Okay, and as we turn around again, let's put it in perspective. There's the Oriental Saloon. Virgil was crossing 5th Street right there. And when he got about in line with that pole, just to the right of the Crystal Palace Saloon over there, that's when the assassin from the Longhorn Restaurant just behind me right here right now opened up on him, wounded him, and crippled his left arm. Virgil was then carried down to the Cosmopolitan Hotel a short time later, after being attended to by Dr. Goodfellow, who had an office on the second floor of the Golden Eagle Brewery up there. So I'm going to walk you down to where the uh, Cosmopolitan Hotel used to used to be where they took him once he got shot. I'm going to take that walk real quick. Walking down the historic boardwalk. And once we get to where the Cosmopolitan Hotel used to stand, I will show it to you. So bear with me. We're now crossing the Red Buffalo. And this was the site of Campbell and Hatch Saloon, where Morgan Earp was killed. Point that out on the way. Matter of fact, if you look at the sign, it tells you that. Original site of Campbell and Hatch Saloon and Billiards, Morgan Earp was murdered here. While playing pool. Missed that part. You see that right there. So that's where Morgan was killed, unfortunately, a few months later, in March. I guess they've got a historic tour going on. I didn't want to interrupt them, so that's why I took a V line into the street. Yeah. 
Okay, actually, I passed it. Because it's actually right where they're giving that to her. So let me go over here and I'll, uh, and I'll photograph across the street for you. Bear with me. The Cosmopolitan Hotel, where they carried Virgil after he got shot, was right there where you can see that fence. And I'll zoom in just a little bit. It's a vacant lot now, but that's where the Cosmopolitan used to stand. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little historic tour. I wish I could have been more precise, but I was trying to be quiet. I don't want to interrupt those tours because I'm sure somebody's paying for that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. God bless, and y'all have a great night.